So what's that on top of his head? Oh yeah, you say. Oh yeah, I've dug out the old flat cap, I've dug out the old split cane rod and I've come to a place I haven't been to for a very long time. If you followed the channel for a while, you would have seen me fish at a little place called the Woodland Pool. Lovely little pond in the middle of nowhere near Hazelmere. Um, there is a railway track close by, so you, you might hear that throughout the, throughout the afternoon. It's an afternoon session, it's probably about half past three in the afternoon, but I've got till nine o'clock. So I've got a good five or six hours at my disposal. See if we can catch a carp off the surface with the old split cane rod, the Mitchell and the old flat cap. This is the woodland pool. just drop down into a little bay just up the top there's a, a high bank that looks over the water and I'm going to use that as a bit of a base camp just to leave everything to get set up and then travel out from there um, travel in light I just stopped here because there was a bit of silt being stirred up obviously a fish down there feeding so I've just put half a dozen dog biscuits just in the margin just to see if anything will come up done the same just down the bank a little bit as well it's about 10 yards down that way I think that's going to be the way just feed the margins with a few dog biscuits and that's done me a few fish in the past under the rod tip that's how we like them so I'm just getting everything set up now it's been a while this old Mitchell's got, I think it's 18 pound line on it. And it's been on the reel for a very long time. And it's all wiry and horrible. So what I've done, I've just stripped off a load of it. And I'm gonna put, I've got a spool of eight pound line here. So I'm gonna put about 30 or 40 yards of eight pound line on. And, um, and that'll be perfect for, for free lining on the surface. As I said in here, there's no big fish in here. If you catch a 10 pounder in here, you're doing really well. They average sort of six to eight pounds. Put that together, do you know what? Because I've been using carbon and stuff for a while now, this feels so heavy. But I think the feeling of catching a fish on that again after all these years is gonna be electric. I'm looking forward to that. I just hope we can catch one today. That's that now. I'm going to loosen the clutch on the front of the reel, <laughs> which, which never works very well on these old 50-year-old uh, reels. But that's how we've got to do it. I'm not a backwind kind of angler. Some people prefer back backwinding, and some people prefer working off the clutch. I'm definitely a clutch angler. Um, if it causes line twist, and I've got to replace the line more frequently as a result of that, then so be it. Um, we fish how we fish. And you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I am an old dog. It's my birthday in, it's my birthday in three days time. And I'm not telling you how old I am. Right, 
So, all I need on there now is a hook. I'm going to throw a few packets of them in the bottom of this bag. Probably the only modern thing I'm going to be using today. The camera and these hooks. That's because I swear by these little Kamakura cranks. Size 8 for a single dog biscuit. Absolutely perfect. Um, just got a hope with this old reel in this old rod, I say old rod, heavy floppy rod. But I can cast a single dog biscuit out, free lined. Guess we'll find out soon. Even dug out the old wooden catapult. So I'm going to go and get myself set up on base camp and then give myself a bare essentials to wander around and see if we can catch a fish. So, wish me luck. And there we have it, the first one from this pool for a long time, and the first one on the split came for a long time as well. And that was brilliant fun. Fluffed a couple of chances, but then, uh, then managed to get this one. Well happy. I'm slipping back into margins, and have a little wander around the pool. Well pleased with that. So as you can see, this is a bit of a little gap. And it's a little bit sort of hit and hold, because there are some sunken trees and some root systems fairly close by. But I'll put some more mixer down. I'm just definitely gonna give it five or 10 minutes. That little spot over there, where there's a bit of, a bit of hazy stuff on the surface, that white stuff. And the water's just calm and there's overhanging trees. And it looks like it. Looks like it could be a good area over there to try. But I have got a few hours. So I'm not in a rush to get anywhere. I'm just trying to slowly make my way around the pool. Trying all the likely little areas on the way.
Well, they've made me wait today, but we've managed to get number two. And that's a beautiful fish. Stunning scale. You can see why I come here now. There's no big ones in here, but most of them look like that. And I'm happy catching those on low tackle, let me tell you. That was a great battle, that was. Fantastic. Yeah, it's been tricky today, really tricky, but just at base camp, I've just put a few dog biscuits out on the surface just while I was tying on a new walk, and they started taking, so I thought I'd give it a go here, and uh, there's the rewards. Proper chuff with that. I'm going to get him back. I reckon there's a chance of one more before we go on. Let's see how we get on. This is probably going to be my last one of the session. It's getting on now, it's about 8 o'clock. starting to get a little bit chilly. Um, it's not been easy fishing today, not by any means. But I've had three of these lovely fish. I couldn't be happier. What a beautiful afternoon. Slipping back. Well pleased.